When we were settled, Mom and Dad side by side on the chintz sofa, and me on one of the overstuffed chairs, she went back to her previous one-sided conversation. Are you sure you aren't lonely? Never. Besides, I have a roommate. Then I raised my voice. Nix, I called out. Normally, the cat hung out with me, whether I was home or in the shop. It was strange she wasn't here now, getting to know Mom and Dad, especially as she'd be a good distraction from the third degree I was getting. Mom and Dad looked at each other. Dad said, Who's Nix? My cat. I don't know where she is. She usually loves meeting new people. That's so nice, Dad said. You always wanted a cat or a dog growing up. We couldn't have pets because we were away so much. I hunted around and found Nix upstairs, sitting by the window in my bedroom. I normally left the window open for her, but because it had been cold earlier, I'd shut it. Come and meet my parents. I picked her up and carried her back down and into the living room, where my parents were drinking coffee, both looking jet-lagged. I felt Nix stiffen in my arms and pull back. I nudged her towards my dad, and he held out a hand and stroked her on the head. Nix, glad to see you haven't forgotten your classic mythology. My mom was more of a cat person, and she leaned over and stretched out a hand, saying, Oh, what a sweet kitten. I leaned forward so Nix could jump onto her lap. There was nothing my cat loved more than to be fussed over. However, Nix suddenly had some kind of a fit. She hissed and twisted in my arms, her tiny but sharp claws fully extended, and leapt onto the carpet, scratching me as she went. She ran at full speed back upstairs. My mother looked surprised and a little hurt. She's not very friendly, is she? I was staring after the cat, puzzled. I don't know what's going on with her today. Maybe she needs to go out. I excused myself and went back up to the bedroom. Nix glared at me through narrowed green eyes before turning her head and pointedly staring at the window, waiting for me to open it. My arms were smarting where she'd scratched me. She was always so gentle. What's up with you? She gave an annoyed meow. I had known her long enough that I could interpret the many moods of her meow. This one was angry. She wasn't the only one. I opened the window. I hope you'll have better manners when you return. As soon as I had the window open, she shot out so fast, I was afraid she'd tumble down to the ground. However, with an agility that always amazed me, she jumped to the branch of the old cherry tree and made her way rapidly down to the small back garden. When she was safely on the ground, she turned and looked up at me, and my beloved cat and familiar narrowed her eyes and hissed at me.